Beating a video game in two days sounds like a challenge on its own, but what about creating a video game? Today we're here at Niagara College to check out the school's fourth annual Global Game Jam. So we start at about uh, 8 p.m. on Friday. Uh, they get a theme, and from that theme they then start trying to make a game. They'll start from the design perspective, and then they'll start building their game itself. Some people the theme was easy, and they were able to pick a theme, uh, game idea right away, and others it took them a little bit longer to get. The theme for this year's Game Jam? What does home mean to you? And every student here has taken that theme in a unique, creative direction. Well, our game is about a road trip where the main character meets all these different people along the way and all these different people have their different ideas of home and through these small parts of gameplay like going through a maze or lighting a cigarette for someone they figure out their idea of home and what home means to that person specifically. So after a lot of brainstorming uh, yesterday we came up with the idea of you are a man defending your home from zombies you're trying to protect your family so zombies will come in waves and throughout the waves you can buy upgrades, you can uh, upgrade your gun, you get money and your, your main goal is to just defend your house. These students came prepared for a grueling weekend, bringing plenty of junk food, energy drinks, even a sleeping bag if they can manage a quick nap. Now obviously this is a pretty arduous task for these people. Uh, what's one piece of advice that you would bring forth to them in order to help them survive this weekend? Um, sleep and eat correctly. Like even though we only have 48 hours to create a game, uh, you gotta take care of yourself. And if you try to sit at a computer for 6, 8, 12, 16 hours and try to work on a task, it's not gonna work out too well. Take a break, relax, get a couple hours of sleep and come back to it. It'll make sure that uh, you can look at the idea with a new set of eyes and it might help you in the long run. Now, over the course of the uh, weekend so far, have there been any particular challenges that have arisen? Uh, quite a few. Um, you know, just between getting enough sleep, getting enough to eat, uh, and fixing anything that goes wrong with our, uh, our game. You know, there's a lot, but we're excited to take it on. Amongst the competitors were some program alumni returning to campus to participate in this year's Game Jam. If you had to give uh, you know, one major piece of advice uh, to the students participating this weekend, what would it be? Uh, definitely plan out your stuff way in advance because planning is the most important thing than doing. And uh, to take your time and not rush things because as, although it's a time constraint, it's better to get things done faster or in a more efficient manner than it is just rushing things out. So I think that's the best thing I can give. Come tomorrow night, what's the end goal? I think a lot of the people here have different goals, uh, essentially. Some of them want to make a portfolio piece, so when they graduate they have a nice piece to show the employers. Uh, some people are here just to polish their skills a little bit more. Uh, some of them are currently in the program, so they are making a final game and they might risk something here that they don't want to affect their marks. Uh, and some of them as well just want to network because we do bring alumni from the previous years that are in industry, like for, from Ubisoft or contracting within local companies in the area. Uh, they can meet with these individuals, kind of get a little more uh, experience, kind of feed off of their knowledge from being in the industry, and then also uh, see if they can try to sneak a job once they graduate. <laughs> And these students are not alone. With over 40,000 people participating worldwide, the Global Game Jam continues to give up-and-coming game developers the opportunity to show what they're made of. From Wellen reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.